people welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a cook with me video i am about to make some baked macaroni and cheese for my mom's friend and for my friend and so i will be cooking on camera hi mom hello <laughs> this lady is i i'm feeling so good in my body i'm not 100 percent yet but i am like 95% feeling good. The weather is about to get so much better because we are already in spring. So. Anyway, let me get going with this cooking. It shouldn't take me that long. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video and if you want to, you can try out my recipe and see if you like it. Alright, so let's, let's get to cooking. So this is all of the ingredients that I will be using in this video. Um, I did use two cans of carnation milk which I forgot to put in this clip. So I start by boiling my water <laughs> and adding some salt, sea salt into this water. The sea salt is from Whole Foods. You can use whatever salt you want to use if you are going to be following this. And then I'm going to add my noodles and just stir it up a little bit and let it cook. Um, that's how you cook noodles. You cook it to however soft you want it to be because you're cooking it. <laughs> so that's basically what I did. And I did add a little bit more water in there because I was cooking this for someone else. Now that my noodles are nice and cooked to how, how I wanted it to be cooked, I will now put it uh, in a strainer and set it aside um, for the cheese sauce, which you will be seeing how I made it in the next upcoming clips. This cheese is called melting cheese and I did pick it up from my local grocery store. Um, you will see how I'll be using it. It really did make my mac and cheese come out really, really good. So you'll see how I used it. Okay guys, so now you will be seeing how I make my cheese sauce. I do have a baked macaroni and cheese video on my channel. However, it's still the same concept uh, except for a few, maybe two more steps or two more ingredients. Um, so basically, I started by melting the butter as you can see. Then I'm going to add my milk and here is where I add the carnation milk. But not the entire can. I just added a little bit. I can't give you a specific measurement. But I made sure I left enough for me to continue using it throughout the making of the sauce, which you will see. Um, this carnation milk is nice and creamy. It's evaporated, low-fat, super-fat milk. Um, it's so nice and creamy. And it really helped to make this really the sauce really really creamy how I really like it and as you can see I'm just whisking the two together um, and then I'm going to add flour I used about a teaspoon and a half of flour um, and this you by using the flour that flour it helps to keep the macaroni together 
um, if you know what I mean, it's not gonna fall apart, you know. So basically, you just whisk everything, and you want to do this on low to medium heat. You do not want to do it on high heat because you do not want anything to burn, and you have to whisk the flour is so good so that you won't have any lumps because if you do have raw flour in there it will make you run to the bathroom and you want to avoid that so as you can see as I'm whisking I'm pouring the remainder of the milk and I did use one can of milk the reason why I mentioned two can of, cans of milk earlier is because I made two separate sauces um, for two uh, sets of mac and cheese now I'm adding the melting cheese and the melting cheese will give it a nice yellowish color you will see and you as you add stuff you just continue to whisk and whisk and whisk until it's nice and creamy and lump free. Now I will be adding some shredded cheese into this sauce so that we can make this mac and cheese. The che we, we're giving the cheese in mac and cheese. <laughs> you know, making it nice and cheesy. Um, and I'm just gonna whisk this together as well. And also I will be adding um, some mustard. Now mustard is what Guyanese use in their mac and cheese that gives it a really nice taste. You don't want to um, use too much of mustard because it will spoil the taste. Usually if, if I were to give you a measurement I would say use about a teaspoon and a half in your sauce. Um, but I didn't use a specific measurement I just put mustard how I, however much I wanted to put. <laughs> Now that the sauce is nice and creamy as I wanted it to be, I will go ahead and add the uh, noodles to this and just mix everything together because I want every noodle to be um, enamored with the cheese sauce as you will see. Um, every noodle was just oozing with the sauce, it looked so good and it tasted really really good guys, I can't even elaborate enough on how good it came out and as you can see I'm adding some more mustard um, this is completely optional it's all to your taste um, and I added some black pepper I also added some paprika to it um, to give it a nice flavor <laughs> Now before I um, put it in the oven, I'm going to put my cheese on top and I'm using a sh cheddar cheese and also a mixture of, you know, white and yellow cheese. Um, usually you find that in a taco mix because I wanted it to, you know, have two different cheeses but you will not be able to see it <laughs> when you see how, it, um, how nice and golden brown it came out. But you're gonna see in the next couple of clips. <laughs> oh, let me tell ya something. I am so so elated with my mac and cheese right now. 
It is looking so good. Mommy said, I just had a little taste. Let me taste. It tastes good. Excellent. Ex it doesn't even taste just good. It tastes excellent. This look, look, at this, look at all, all of that. You just pick. Mm. I mean, I mean, it looks so good. I'm gonna throw it in the oven right now. My mac and cheese is done. That's the cheese, nice and golden brown. So perfect. I'm going to close the video out because I am done making my mac and cheese. It came out so, so good. So nice and creamy and cheesy. Tastes good. It felt really good to cook. It feels good to feel healthy and strong. Um, and it feels good to do something for somebody else. Yeah. So thank you for sticking around with me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting and all of that jazz. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Thank you for all the well wishes and, you know, for getting better. I am feeling so much better. Um, God is so, so, so good. He's good. See you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye! If you're not subscribed, subscribe! It's free! Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope that you will give my mac and cheese recipe a try. I think it definitely will be a hit in your home. You know what I'm saying? Give it a try. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know if you did try it out and how it came out. Alright guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and um, subscribe, and I will see you in another video very soon. God bless you. Bye.